please pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. All right, so in this problem, if we take a look at it, they're saying the graph of the linear equation contains these two points, 311 and negative 2, 1, which point also um, lies on the graph. So I, I feel like, personally, what I would do is solve this algebraically. Um, and would, my first step would be to find the equation of the line. I prefer mx plus b format, so I'm going to use that. The first thing I'm going to do is find the slope, the m value. So to do that, I subtract the y values. So I'll do 1 minus 11, delta y, over delta x, the, x, the difference of the x values, negative 2 minus 3. 1 minus 11 is the opposite of 11 minus 1. It's negative 10. Negative 2 minus 3, take negative 2, you lose 3, you have negative 5. Then negative 10 divided by negative 5 is positive 2, and that's our slope, 2. So in our equation, y equals 2x plus b. Now what we need to do is find the y-intercept, and by doing this, we create an equation that can find any point on the line, which feels really, I think, important here. I'm going to plug in the point 311. You can plug in either point. 11 is the y-value in the point, and 3 is the x-value. So the question is, here, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus b is 11. What is b? Well, b is 5, right? 5 plus 6 is 11. So now our equation is simply, if we go back up here, y equals 2x plus 5. And all of the points follow this equation if they're on this line. And the only point that satisfies that equation is choice 4. If you plug in x for 2, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 5 is 9, and that matches the corresponding y value given here. So that's the answer. Any other point you try won't work. For example, if you try point 3, which is 2 comma 6, if you plug in 2, right? 2 times 2 is 4, plus 5 is 9, not 6. This point is not on the line. And I'll leave it to you to try the others, but they also will not balance the equation. All right, thanks.